Want to get more sales without being salesy? Well, you've come to the right place. Check this out. This is the Sales Gorilla Podcast. All right, Gorilla Army Nation, welcome back to the Sales Gorilla Podcast with your host, the world's greatest sales gorilla, Landon Porter. Landon, how are you doing today? Man? That's funny shit. I'm, I'm, I'm doing well, Nathan. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. And yeah, I want to start off. So the listeners probably don't know how me and you kind of came together, how our worlds kind of collided. And uh, it's one of those, it's one of the things that I use as a secret weapon in my client getting arsenal, which is the power of podcasting and using my podcast. The first time that me and you actually had a conversation was on my podcast. And, uh, and that has led to a lot of opportunity for both of us. And I kind of wanted to, I wanted to do an episode today talking about me and you did a training actually on using podcasts to get clients, but I kind of wanted to talk about some of the other advantages of, of having a podcast and um, the networking effect that podcasts can have for people. Cause I know that some of the people in the audience might be considering starting a podcast. Yeah. And, and you and I, as we normally do, we spent about eight seconds before we started recording this, talking about what we we're going to talk about, which is awesome because that's how we both roll. Before you get too much further, I want to I want to kind of set something up for the listeners so they have um, more context to be able to utilize what we're going to talk about today. Um, here's here's the bottom line: you don't need a giant audience right? Like there's a lot of people out there teaching business owners that, oh, you've got to go post on social media a million times a day and you've got to build this giant audience and it's all about brand awareness and that's bullshit. At the same time, if nobody knows who you are, it's going to be really difficult to get clients. There is a natural median that we all fall into. The bottom line is this, if you want clients, you got to get the right message in front of the right market at the right time period. And one of the best ways to do that is something that we're going to talk about today. In short, and it's, these might even be rolled out already. If not, it'll be here in the next week or two. We're going to be adding another show to the podcast, another weekly episode, and we're going to be interviewing people. And you and I are going to talk a little bit about that, but the importance of it is to get my message out in front of more people. And one of the ways to do that is not by me standing there with the microphone shouting at the marketplace. An excellent way to do it is by me interviewing people who also have audiences of people who might be the right fit for me for one of the things that we do. So that's what we're going to be doing. So are you starting a new podcast where you're interviewing people because you've ran out of things to say yourself? Nope. (laughs) I didn't think so. Nope. Um, I'm starting a new episode because we get probably a dozen emails or messages a week from people in our audience asking us, hey, if we would interview so-and-so or hey, could we interview so-and-so or hey, will we interview so-and-so? And it's been asked for enough that, hey, let's go ahead and do that. We have enough topics for the you and me show to do this Monday show probably for the next couple of years. And at the same time, there are other people that I want to interview and there are other people that I want to be connected with and using your secret weapon to get into their worlds and identify if I want to actually hang out in their worlds, interviewing them on a podcast is one of the best ways to do it. Mm Mm-hmm. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Some of the things that I've found when you're, when you have a podcast and you have an audience, when you reach out to somebody who would normally just say no to you, you reach out and you're like, Hey, I'd love to have this conversation with you. A lot of times they're like, get lost kid. You know, no, you can't buy me coffee and pick my brain for an hour. But if the, if the trade-off is I would love to introduce you to my audience and let them get some of your insight and then show them how they can find more out about you. That's a totally different proposition. And for me, that's opened up 
amazing doors. I mean, some of the mentors, some of the people that I've worked with on projects, I've been able to work with people like Joe Schriefer from Agora Financial, David Garfinkel, you, Ben Settle. I hate, dang, you made me do the name dropping thing, Landon. <laughs> um, but, it, but the fact is, is without my podcast, I would not have been able to work with these people. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be a podcast either. You could interview somebody for an article. You could interview somebody for your Facebook group. You could interview somebody on LinkedIn. Like it doesn't have to be a podcast, but there's, there's two big pieces to this. You got to get the right message to the right people at the right time. And interviewing people is one of the fastest ways to do it. Here's, here's one of the things that uh, bothers me about when people do podcasting and maybe you can explain this to me, how you would be able to actually still get your message out. When I record interviews with people, when I do these episodes with you, when I record people on my own podcast, when I'm mixing it down, I have my own 80-20 rule for that. I want it when I'm looking at the two audio tracks, I want to make sure my audio doesn't go over eight, or doesn't go over 20%. I want at least 80% of the interview to be the guest. Mm -hmm. How do you interview other people while still being able to get your message to your audience? Yep. Well, there's two pieces to it. One, everybody seems to forget this. The person that's actually leading the conversation, the person that's actually in charge of the conversation, the person that actually has the authority in the conversations, the one that's asking the questions. And generally that's 20% of the time or less. The second piece to that is there are a lot of people that ask a lot of questions. There are not very many people that ask really good questions a lot. And I've listened to a few podcasts. You know me, right? When you and I started doing this, I had never listened to a podcast except Joe Rogan stuff. And I had only seen it on, on YouTube, right? Um, but since then, I've listened to a lot of podcasts. And there's a lot of people with big podcasts. And I'm not going to call anybody out. But they can't ask a question to save their fucking life. On top of that, they ask the same three or four questions to everybody they interview. I don't know about you guys listening to this. I get bored easy the way that you can do this and get in front of other people's audiences is to ask pertinent and interesting questions that that individual has not been asked before. Stand out with your knowledge. It's your knowledge that allows you to figure out something to ask somebody. Use it. Okay. And here's why I'm really excited about these interviews that you've got coming up is because this is also something that you employ in your, when you're on sales calls. This is something that you've taught me to do. And let's kind of talk about the relationship between interviewing people for, some, for a piece of content versus interviewing people for a sales call. When, when a lot of people go into sales calls, myself included, I'm guilty of this. Uh, it's, it's, I want to show them how smart I am. I want to impress them. I want to um, lead them to the point where I want to get them to and, and kind of bully them into going with me. Um, how is that wrong? And how, how can a podcast interview process kind of relate to a sales call interview process? Well, there's only ever one kind of conversation. You can call it whatever you want, but it's a sales conversation. If you and I connect on the phone or through messenger, one of us wants something right? Let's go to a concert. Let's go get lunch. Let's do the pig roast thing. Let's do an interview. Let's do a podcast show, right? Every conversation is a sales conversation. And the reason that so many people have shitty conversations is because they don't follow a very simple process. And that process is there's an introduction and then there's the direction we're heading in that. Then there's questions and then there's a conclusion, Right. So the conclusion of that can either relate in um, or revolve around money being exchanged or something else being exchanged or, hey, let's do this again or, hey, let's never do this again. There's always a, an intro, a direction that we're headed. We call it setting the agenda, asking questions and then a conclusion. So it doesn't matter if it's a sales conversation or a podcast interview. Conversation naturally follows that flow. Hi, how you doing? Then we talk. Bye. Have a great day. Right? The key ingredient in there is the questions. Okay. And what kind of people are you hoping to do? And I know this is completely dependent on who's going to say yes and 
who's you, who you're going to reach out to. But as far as what you envision, what are you hoping this turns into and what kind of people are you hoping to get on the, get on the podcast? Strippers, of course. <laughs> That's, uh, that <laughs> might work for the video version of the podcast. <laughs> I, I want to interview people who fit into this category. They're in love with what they do. They're having a blast doing it. They love the people that they're working with and they're actually helping them accomplish something, right? So we're going to be talking to mostly business people, mostly people who consult other business people, um, we're going to be talking to people that do copywriting. We're going to talk to people that do storytelling. We're going to talk to people that do video. We're going to be talking to people that do marketing. We're going to like, that's what we're going to, that's the people that we're going to be talking with. Um, and there is absolutely a selfish reason in here. I'm going to use this podcast to connect with people that, um, might otherwise be more difficult or take more time to connect with. Right. I'm going to give the people that we're interviewing an opportunity and I'm going to hold space for them to be introduced to new people. That's what they want. I want to be introduced to them and I want to find hmm, over the next 12 months, I want to find five or six people that I really connect with on a let's forget about business. Let's actually go hang out and do something fun together because we actually connect. That's what I'm looking for. And for the listeners out there, is there a way or do they even have a say in the direction of this? What, what uh, if the yeah. listeners have recommendations or have insights or um, thoughts about this? What are your, what are your, um, what are your stipulations for that? Absolutely. Um, great point. We will put together a booking page and that booking page will do one of two things everybody in our audience that listens to our show will be able to go to that booking page and nominate somebody. And if we determine that they're a fit, we will put the balls in, in motion. If somebody has a connection to somebody that they want interviewed on the show, they can simply make an introduction through support at the sales com, or maybe we can work that into the booking page. But yeah, I think that's a great idea. I just want to point out that you said, put the balls in motion. <laughs> <laughs> strippers balls you know me i'm 12 okay landon i'm excited for this um any other thoughts about this before we're out of here i i personally love interviewing people for my podcast i think that um it's gotten me some really good relationships it also has the benefit of kind of branching out and opening up your message to their audience as well uh, any other benefits that you see coming from this and any other uh, things that you're excited about as we move forward in this new direction for the Sales Gorilla podcast? We are opening up another battlefield to continue conquering this concept. You don't have to be a douche canoe to get sales done. <laughs> nice. All right, man. Until next time, where can people go if they want to check out more episodes of the Sales Gorilla podcast? Head on over to salesgorillapodcast.com. We will see you there. All right. I will catch you later, man. Peace out, Cub Scout.